Hi guys, in today's video, we're gonna design in a sports jersey. I will provide a free high quality mock-up of the shirt for you to use in your future designs. So let's get started. Open the PSD file. You can find the PSD file link in the description. On the right side, you can check the layers of the mock-up. It is a separated group of folders for the front and back design. The layers are already named for you to easily identify what part of the t-shirt mock-up it is. Double-click the smart object then you can find a new tab where you can edit the design for the corresponding parts of the t-shirt. It has also some guidelines for you to know where to put your designs. Now let's open some samples to demonstrate on how to put the designs. If you are wondering if where I get my designs, you can get it here. Quick shout out to today's sponsor, Kittle. It's a design tool that makes pro-level graphics ridiculously easy. If you've ever felt stuck trying to make logos, merch, or thumbnails that actually look good, Kittle is your new best friend. It's browser-based, packed with insane templates, and way easier to use than Illustrator or Photoshop. You can change the text and colors of these templates. You can also add an artboard to isolate the image that you want to save later. If you're happy with the design, you can easily download it, and you will have an option to download it without background. Best part, you can try it for free, and with my code and you'll get an exclusive discount on any premium plan. Just hit the link in the description, sign up, and start creating in minutes. Thanks again to Kittle for sponsoring this video. So let's get back to it. Now, with UDesign open, you can drag and drop at the smart object you opened. Resize it to the size that you want, hit Ctrl S to save and preview it on the other tab. Try to copy the color palettes of the logo you've chosen, you can use it later. Now, we can add some designs and effect on the t-shirt. I'm gonna find some brush strokes I can use in this design. I will use this smoke brush. Just rotate and resize for your own liking. Paint on the design with the color that you copied. Just do it freely so you can design it on your own. It's a trial and error for me because I am not that good in designing. For those who are professional designers, I think this one is just a piece of cake for them. We'll also put this logo to add some life to the design. Just playing with the opacity so that it will not be the main design focused on the shirt. It's up to you on where you will place the design, just follow what your heart tells you. Now it's time to color the sleeves and collars. Just change the color to the colors of the logo. For the sleeve, you can do the design like this. You can also add numbers if you want to, it's all up to you.
Now let's go to the back part of the mock-up. There is also guidelines for these parts. Just follow the steps that I do in placing the designs on this one. I know you have already the idea from design the front part a while ago. Here, I will just copy the smoke design from the front and then flip it horizontally. Now you can add text like the surname of the player or any saying that best describe you. Add your favorite number. I will speed it up a little from here. Here is the final design of the t-shirt. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. Comment down below if what mockups should I do next. Thank you for watching.